So, I met Cecilia Bartoli for the first time backstage at Barbican. She had this long queue of people just waiting to get a glimpse of her greatness. I finally got to her, and I just said, Hello, Miss Bartoli. My name is Justin, and uh, I'm a huge fan. I, I, I made this video. Even before I could finish my sentence, she just got up from her table, and she looks at me and she says, Kimchilia, mia sorella. Which means, Kimchilia, my sister. <laughs> I was still a high school student, and this was my very first official singing lesson. And my new teacher, Orna, gave me this DVD of Cecilia Bartoli's Viva Vivaldi album, where she wears this beautiful red dress, and I watched the whole thing. And I absolutely, like, immediately fell in love with Agitata da Duaventi, because that was just the most dynamic, most virtuosic extravaganza. Fast forward four years, and I had a drag repertoire at home with wigs and makeup. I went down to downtown Chicago and to get my dress, and on the very last studio hour of my undergraduate career, I just went and did it and put it on my YouTube channel. It just blew up. <laughs> that is the history of Kimchilia Bartoli. <laughs> The word drag coined by Shakespeare is dressed as a girl, and in opera, everybody's dressed as something. We're trying to create an illusion that everybody can see and say, oh, this can be reality, but we all know this is not reality. And that's what drag is, and that's what opera is. Cecilia Bartoli asked me about my repertoire, and I had told her that I was working on a certain aria. She said, that aria is never complete without this one element, and I'm thinking like, oh, she's giving me like, a nugget of wisdom. Like, what is this? I need to write this down. And she says, feathers, lots and lots of feathers. If you need those feathers, just let me know. I will send them to you. I did learn many things from her performance, obviously, her expression, her engagement with the audience, also her usage of diction, but in my personal performance, I don't necessarily channel another person or another diva because I, I have my own diva in me <laughs> and I let that beast out and <laughs> keep the other beast contained, perhaps. Yeah.